and D2 dynamic programming, the final type now, I've got the Minimax. The idea of this one here is that you're going on a, a sea ferry and depending on the different uh, routes that you take, these are the waves that you've got to encounter and obviously you don't like rocky waves, so you're trying to see the route that would be the calmest. You wouldn't go straight across the middle here like we did on the uh, maxim in, that would be the very, very big waves. You'd be looking to maybe in, use that two there or, or maybe this four, trying to go along routes that don't have very high waves. Um, because the first part's all the same for all of them, I've left that, just deleted the answers here. And F2E, of course we know F2E is just eight. That's the best thing to do from F. And the best thing from do to D is the seven, the same as it's been every single time on all four systems. But the first interesting point is C. Going C to F, well, we're going to go along this route here that's got a five and also an eight. What's the highest wave we're going to be encountering? So we're looking for the maximum of 5 and 8, and of course the maximum of 5 and 8 is 8. Across the middle there, we've just got the 9, or down the bottom, we've got the maximum of, going from here to here is 7, and although I know we can see that this is a 7 here, what we're really doing is saying what's the best thing from D, that's 7, the maximum of 7 and 7 is 7. Which one of these do we want? Remember, this time we are going for the lowest waves we can get. So we want the minimum of those ones there. So it's this one here. It's the seven. We'd like those seven waves, not the nine, not the eight. Let's go to G and see what happens there. So we could go across to F. And so that would be a wave of eight. The best we can do from F is also an eight. So we'd have to take up wave heights of, of eight. Or we could go down here, just that two there, and the best from C, the best from C is that seven. The maximum of two and seven is seven. Which way would you go from G? You want the shortest waves, the lowest waves. You'd want the minimum of those, so it's that. Let's go down here to B. We can go from B to C, that's the four here. And so nice short waves, nice low waves there, a four here. The best thing to do from C, we know the best thing from do to C was this seven. And the maximum of those is seven. And B to D, straight across the bottom. Oh, a horrible big wave that way, a 10. Uh, so the maximum of 10 and the best thing to do from D was a seven. We'd have to do that big 10 wave. We don't like that one at all. And so our minimum waves go that way with the seven. Finally, the A to G one. A to G here, we're going for the maximum of the six. And the best thing to do from G is the seven. So we've still got to cope with that seven. Across the middle, big wave, don't like that one. Maximum of 10. And the best thing from C, the best thing from C was that seven. That's a big wave, 10. Or we can go down the bottom here with the eight. And so we've got the maximum of eight. And what's the best thing from B? The best thing from B was go to C for seven, wasn't it? Um, so a seven here. So the maximum of those is the eight. What is the best? The best one is the lowest waves, which is the seven. So the mini max is seven. You've got to cope with waves of seven to get there. Which way do you go? Well, you start at A and you go to G. Once you've got to G, then you go to C. Once you're at C, then you go to D. And from D, you go to the end. And if we look at that route there, you'll see we never have to go everything higher than seven. So uh, uh, A to G is just six. G to C is just two. C to D is just seven. And D to E is just seven again. Look, that route there, we only have to go over those seven wave heights. Wave height to seven, that is the minimax. That's the four different types the dynamic programming questions in your booklet.